Hey Google, how do you make egg noodles? Hey Google, will you talk to me today? Of course. Well, thank you. How do you make egg noodles? Hey Google, how do you make egg noodles? Okay, I've got a recipe called egg noodles from all recipes. This recipe serves seven and takes about 33 minutes to make. Does that sound good? Yes. Great. Would you like to start with ingredients or instructions? Ingredients. There are five ingredients. You can ask for the next ingredient or skip to the instructions. The first ingredient is two and a half cups all-purpose flour. Next. Hey Google, next. The second ingredient is one pinch salt. Hey Google, next. Two eggs beaten. Hey Google, next. One half cup milk. That's four, right? Hey Google, next. One tablespoon butter. That's it. Let me know when you're ready to start. Hey Google, I can handle it from here. Thank you very much. Happy to help. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So, I've made my flour. I've got a ball here of egg flour. And uh, my rolling pin, and I'm going to put the rolling pin sock on. So that you throw the sock in the washing machine instead of having to clean all of that sticky stuff off of the rolling pin. And I've got my flour here. I've washed my glass table. I windexed it real good. Wiped it with a disinfectant. And then I dried it really good with paper towels. So I'm ready to... Uh, some flour on my rolling pin surface and my ball here. And we're going to roll that out till it's about a quarter of an inch thick. And then it gets sticky there. More flour. I have to flip it like that because if you don't, it gets raw on the bottom and sticks to the table. What'd you say? The hummingbird about took my ear off. The hummingbird about took your ear off. Yeah. Well, can you hear me now? <laughs> I use uh, a, a pizza cutter. I think, I think the ear is gone. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. I can hear you. Okay.
Sometimes I like them real thin, like I'm making right here. And it depends on what you're going to do with them. I'm doing this carefully and making them narrow. And I'm going to make a tuna fish casserole with these. If I'm making uh, like uh, chicken noodle soup, I make them about a half an inch wide. Those just dry for an hour or so. So you're sitting out here having your coffee on the patio by the kitchen. Yeah, and talking to the birds and the flies. And what's this about the hummingbird? Hummingbird out took my ear off. It came so close. Did it? Is that what made that comb in your hair fly up like that? It, I reckon. Huh? huh? Well, why didn't you check that out and put it in right? I lost my other one again. Well, wait, maybe it's over here. It's not in my hair. Oh. Well, it'll it's turn up. It's not in my bed. It'll be here somewhere. Yeah, I reckon. What you doing today? <laughs> huh? Oh, there's the hummingbird. Did you hear it? No, it took my ear off. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's going to eat. No, oh, he's not going to eat. He's just flying. Oh, he's not eating out of the hummingbird feeder. He's eating out of the bougainvillea. Yeah. Well, he's down, he's way down there now. Maybe it didn't like your recipe this time. The well, that was a big bird that about took your hair off. The bougainvillea is beautiful, huh? I have to replace the little roof thingy on my hot water heater. I have a new Where piece. Where is it? The roof, it's above it. That's how roofs work. I know that. But where? what happened to the one you had? It's still there. It's just kind of old and dilapidated. I'm going to put this new piece there. Which is a piece it? left over from when we did the roof on the... Next it's, door? No, on the carport. It's fake tile. It's fiberglass. Oh. No, that wasn't a hummingbird. That was a fly. I know that was. <laughs> Bienvenidos de Mexico. <laughs> ah, here comes Pedro. He cleans the pool for us. Comes on his motorcycle. It's been about an hour, and it's time to turn them. So I do that with uh, no. And you don't get them all turned perfect, but you get enough of the wet side up that it can dry on what was the bottom just a minute ago. You don't like this time of the day? No. I don't like you making random statements while I'm talking to my camera. <laughs> Why do you not like this time of the day? It's too hot? Yeah. Mm. Well, there's a lot of worse problems in the world than it being too hot for you to sit in your rocking chair. Oh, Pedro cleaned the pool. Looks nice, doesn't it? I came out here to see. Now, this is sort of in the sun, but this thing is shading it a little bit. What Lynn's talking about when she says, oh, it's too hot. It's 80 degrees, and the sun is shining down here on the part where the temperature is. 80 degrees. Of course, if you are sitting in the sun, it's 
warmer, but I'm not thinking it's terrible. Well, the noodles are drying nicely. Here's another thing you get to do if you're retired. It probably doesn't matter if you're retired in Mexico or you're retired somewhere else. It's a job. And what are we going to do today? Oh, I'm going to start off by saying hi, friends. You already did that part. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, hi, friends from when? Oh, hi. We're going to polish my nails. My hands tremble too much You're put to, put for me to do it. On top of the paper towel. There you go. I was on top of the paper towel. Let's start on the little one. You know what? What? There's one thing we forgot. What? To shake it up? I shook it up. Nope, that's not what we forgot. It's my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, there's one more thing. What? Every time I get a video of you sitting here, yeah. somebody gives me crap. About your pants? <laughs> no, not about my pants. About the lampshade being crooked. Because oh. <laughs> it's always crooked. Yes, oh, it is. Oh, look, there's a spider on there. It is because it's... it's, it's because the, you, the, that... Well, ball, don't, don't breathe. Look at that spider. I can't. My head won't turn that way. Oh, I'm going to smack it. Oh, 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 oh. Did you get it? I did. I know there's a lot of cobwebs around in that corner. Yeah, it's a pretty successful spider. They got a lot of, caught a lot of gnats. Might be time to clean that off. Yeah. Maybe straight wasn't the biggest problem. Well, we got one nail done. We do? Sort of. Let's see. Well, now that I have my glasses on. What color is this? Purple. Purple. I lost my blue one. I'm watching for a blue. You're watching for blue? Yeah. What color were your glasses when you were looking for it? Blue. <laughs> Probably could have found it. <laughs> what I'm laughing about is that Lynn and I are always arguing about what color something is. We'll be driving down the street and just say, Oh, look at that pretty yellow house. And it'll be a white house because she's got her yellow glasses on. Or else she'll be telling me something is green when it's a yellow house because she's got her blue glasses on. Huh. That's happened. That, that has happened. Yeah. You know, my mother and I never did see colors the same. We always, I know. We always argued about what color things We were. all argued with her about what the color something was. Well. So she was a problem. Okay. We'd say, now, there's six of us here. Five of us say it's green, <laughs> and one says it's blue. Yeah, and then she... And she said, well, there's five of you that are wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, um, maybe I should tell a story. Maybe you should. So, you saw me doing dishes in a video, a couple of videos in the last month. I was doing dishes? Ha! <laughs> I was doing dishes in the video, and nobody ever asked why I was doing dishes. They didn't? No. They made comments, like some lady said, any man who's doing dishes is doing it right. I love that one. And I repeated it before. But 
The reason that I do dishes is because a few years ago, quite a few, quite a few, I took Lynn to a dermatologist because she had a rash on her hands. And he looked at her hands and he said, you should never do gardening and get your hands in the dirt. And Lynn said, well, what if I wear gloves? And he says, well, you may be having an allergic reaction to the latex in the gloves, too. He said, and you should never do dishes again. And then the fool wanted me to pay him. <laughs> and now all of her friends are going to him. And that is why I do dishes. And that's been about 15 years ago. Good job that doctor did. Thank you, Jerry. If you happen to be here living here locally, do not go to Dan Zadell Soul to the uh, dermatologist. <laughs> We'll put the second coat on later. What? There's no second coat. I do a really good job. First coat, only coat. No. Let me see. Well, we'll wait till it dries. And then look at it. It's fine. Anything we'll else? I'll leave that there. Anything else you wanted to say? Huh? Was there anything else you wanted to say? Do you want to do a pedicure? <laughs> no. Let me think about that. No. <laughs> do I want to step in a bear trap? <laughs> uh, thank you, no. Never mind. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.